Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio. So today, we need to be taking a look at Dark Box. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. That there a deck that plays a whole bunch of darkness Pokemon and is very teched out. We need to have a look at that because the way that's being played is, um, well, it's getting all kind of mixed up, to be frank with you. But I mean that in a very, very good way. So let's see which cards we're still playing and which cards have gone by the wayside. And we might as well start off with Umbreon and Darkrai, nominally the main attacker in this deck. I think it's as close as we can get. Now, Umbreon and Darkrai have an attack for just free energy that does 150 damage to your opponent's active and 60 damage to one of your opponent's bench GX or EX Pokemon. Of course, this is getting a lot worse now as EX isn't, well, EX is gone, but as GXs get less and less popular and Pokemon V rise to the top. But it's still 150 to the active, if nothing else. The GX attack, one colorless energy, stops your opponent playing trainers next turn, and that is trainers, not just items. But if you've got six energy on there, which is absolutely possible, you also get an automatic instant KO on whatever's active. So you could be getting a one-hit KO on a free prize Pokemon while trainer locking your opponent to stop them getting some kind of retaliation. I cannot be the only one that thinks that sounds pretty gosh darn good. Now, one thing you might notice is missing here. We're no longer playing Mega Sableye and Tyranitar. Now, it's not to say you can't, it's not to say you're not allowed, it is to say this winning deck I'm showing you here does not play Mega Sableye and Tyranitar. 5 energy, 2, 10, take an extra prize with a KO, just a little bit too expensive. We're rolling with, well, lower energy attackers here. A Mega Sableye and Tyranitar really is our main one, but not our only one. You see, now that Pokemon V are a thing, we're getting in on that action as well, and we are playing Sableye V. Sableye V is very good. Sableye V is, in fact, especially good if you're spreading a bunch of damage around your opponent's side of the field. Now, Sableye V comes in, and for one Darkness Energy, put a trainer card from your discard pile into your hand, nobody cares, but for two Darkness Energy, ten damage base, plus 60 more for each damage counter on your opponent's active. So if you've dropped 6 damage counters with Umbreon and Darkrai, then all of a sudden Sable IV comes in and does 370, plus the 6 that was on there already is 430. That is easily enough to go and get yourself a KO. The point that I'm making here is extremely simple. This works. This works very nicely indeed. And that's one of the reasons why we're focusing on Umbreon and Darkrai. It means that it doesn't work against Pokemon Vs, but GXs are still absolutely everywhere. And Sableye has very much got your back. Now, we do also see Double V coming around. And this is one of the new cards, which we don't have at the moment. But we will have when we get round to Rebel Clash coming out. It's one of the new cards from Rebel Clash in the deck. And Double V comes along with, I mean, it's got an ability to reduce his damage done to it by 30, that's fine. But it does 120 damage base, plus 30 more for each prize card your opponent has already taken. So if your opponent's taken 5 prize cards, you're hitting 270 damage. That'll KO most relevant tag teams. And if you can especially combine that with something like a reset stamp... You are in an absolutely beautiful situation here. So that's kind of your Avenge attacker. And really, in terms of attackers, that's about it. Except for a Lolan Persian GX. Yep, we're playing one of them as well. We are actually playing a 1 1 line of a Lolan Persian GX here because, well. You need, to be, you need to have a basic here. You need to be able to actually evolve. Now, Alolan Persian GX has a really nice ability that prevents all effects of attacks, including damage, done to this Pokemon by your opponent's tag team Pokemon and their Ultra Beasts and your opponent's Pokemon that have any special energy attached to them. 
Now, a lot of the time, you know, if you're against an ADP deck, oh, look, I'm immune to ADP. Yeah, but then they can start attacking with Zacian. So it's not always going to work against every deck. Let's be clear about that. But it is going to work against a bunch of decks, and that's pretty gosh darn nice. And that's what we see in the attackers here. Umbreon and Darkrai is your regular attacker, but you've then got Sableye for if you spread some damage around. Dubwall for revenge. Alolan Persian for trying to block your opponent, and it all adds up rather nicely indeed. But we've also got a whole bunch of support Pokemon here. You shouldn't be surprised to know that we're playing Ditto Prism Star. We've got, well, I've only actually shown you one stage one, but I'm about to show you a couple more. And Ditto can evolve into any of them. You should not be surprised to hear here that we are playing Weavile GX. Weavile GX lets you move your darkness energy around the field as much and as often as you like. Sounds pretty good. And we're also playing Silvalli GX. The one with a good draw engine. Now, one of the cool things about Silval IGX is that you can draw until you've got five cards in hand once during your turn. That's really good. But we also kind of need some stage one GXs because of red and blue. Red and blue lets you search for a GX that evolves from one of your Pokemon and evolve right up. But if you discard a couple of cards from your hand, you also get to grab two basic energy from your deck and attach to that Pokemon. Yes, we've got Weavile to use with Red and Blue, but now we've got Silvalli as well, and that is your main source of energy acceleration here. Not your only source of energy acceleration, mind you, because we're also playing Darkrai Prism Star. When you bench it from your hand, you may attach two extra darkness energy from your hand. Well, that sounds pretty gosh darn good. And then, of course, you can move them wherever you need to on the field, using Weavile. Well, look how that worked out. We then play a single copy of the Dene GX. You discard your hand, draw six cards. It's just good for getting yourself set up in the early game. It's a fun list, ladies and gentlemen. It's a very fun list. And unlike the old list that played Mega Sableye and Tyranitar, you're not trying to get like 10 energy on the field and move them between multiple Pokemon. You're rocking two and three energy attackers here, and that's going to make life a lot, lot easier. Now, in terms of Pokemon Search, we've got a lot of basics here, so we're playing Quick Ball. But we're also playing Umbreon and Darkrai, so we're playing Tag Call as well. And while we're playing Tag Call, we might as well play some Tag Team Supporters. Now, I've already mentioned Red and Blue. But we're also playing Cynthia and Caitlyn. Grab a supporter from your discard pile while drawing free cards. Sounds good to me. And we're also playing Mallow and Lana. Switch to the bench. Heal 120 damage. Sounds good to me. And we're also playing Guzma and Halla. That lets you search for a Pokemon tool, a stadium and a special energy. And I'll be honest with you. This is not getting the most run out in this particular deck. Because we're not really terribly reliant on any of those things. Now, in terms of Stadium, we do have Black Market Prism Star, which is awesome. Means if you've got a Darkness Energy attached, you give up one fewer prize. Can really help you in the prize race. But outside of that, the only Stadium we're playing is one copy of Chaotic Swell. Which is just a counter Stadium to take down any Stadium your opponent wants to drop. If your opponent tries to drop a stadium with it in play, their new stadium just gets discarded. So they play a stadium, you play Chaotic Swell to get rid of it, and then the next stadium they play goes away as well. It's it's fine, but shall we say it's not um, it's not an ideal. You know, it, it's not something you really want to be searching out with Guzma and Halla. And in terms of tools, we're rocking Air Balloon basically. Just reduces your retreat cost by two. And it's fine. You do need to get your different Pokemon in and out of the active and then move damage around with Weavile. But let's say there's a good reason we're only playing one Guzma and Halla. I should mention we are also playing Pokemon Communication for a little bit of Pokemon Search here. Let's you swap a Pokemon in your hand for a Pokemon in your deck can be extremely important. And it is worth pointing out that we do play three copies of Switch. Because... We need to be able to get the right Pokemon in the active. Ordinary Rod also becomes very, very important here. Because, well, 
you need to recover your Pokemon. You're playing one copy of Dubwool. You're playing one copy of Sableye. So being able to grab that rod when you need it to get your Pokemon back to get them when you need it. Yeah, that sounds like a pretty good thing. Now, one of the things that might surprise you a little bit here is that we're not actually playing any copies whatsoever of any real draw supporter. Like, the only draw supporter we're really playing here is one copy of Cynthia and Caitlyn. But the reason is we're playing a lot of Pokemon Search. You got your Quick Ball, you got your Pokemon Communication, you got your Tag Call. And I suppose I should also mention we're also playing some Cherish Ball here, which helps you get out your Silver Ally. And because you've got your Dedenne and your Silver Ally to draw yourself extra cards, we're basically setting up without draw supporters, though the list does make me a little bit terrified. Really, the non-tag team supporter we're playing here is Boss's Orders Giovanni. And obviously, we're playing Boss's Orders Giovanni. It, it's ridiculous. It's just a reprint of Lysander, but still makes me very nervous. I've also already mentioned Reset Stamp, so we don't really need to go into that. This is a very weird list. A very weird list. Because you're playing lots of support supporters, like Red and Blue rather than draw. We're really relying on our Pokemon for draw. But we've got a lot of different options. And we do have some good Pokemon draw. And it's the kind of deck that makes me kind of excited. It's not the kind of list we usually see. But I like it very much indeed. But I would like to know what you think. So let me know in the comment section. Go nuts. Me nice. And then make sure you like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter at the Wassy And Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. And please do make sure you're checking out youtube.com slash plays, where you can find out about a whole bunch of games that don't have Pokemon in, but are pretty gosh darn awesome nonetheless. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio. <laughs>